I'm Anil Kumar and this video is for my subscriber Mr. Javed and I hope it will help many of our viewers. The question here is to find the fourth coordinate of a kite. This particular video actually is kind of a concept which can help you answer the question. I'll discuss the real question in the next video. Here I have taken some values which are simple and will land up with a very simple kite. The idea is to understand the concept. Building on this concept will solve this question in the next video. Now let's try to understand. The points A minus 1 minus 3, B 2 4 and C minus 1 6 are three vertices of a kite ABCD. Find the coordinates of the point D. So what we are given here are four coordinates of a kite. Kite as you know is a four-sided figure that is a quadrilateral in which diagonals bisect right and uh, in this particular case I have taken two points of a diagonal which are placed on a vertical line. So the, the diagram kind of is like this. Right. So the points are so selected as you can see here A, B, C. A is minus 1, minus 3 and C is also having the same x coordinate minus 1, 6. Right. So let me write down these points and then we will see how they can be seen as points of a kite. A is minus 1. Let me write A minus 1 minus 3. Assume this is a graph paper and we are plotting these points, right? You will notice C is minus 1, 6. Minus 1, minus 1. So that means X coordinates are same. Y are different. C is at higher position. So we'll write C here as minus 1, 6. B is 2, 4, that means on the right side of minus 1. So let's say this point is 2, 4. So as you can see here, we have a four-sided figure. And in this figure, we have to find the fourth point D so that we get a kite, right? So in a kite, what are special things? The diagonals they bisect right so they are at right angle that is they don't bisect but they are perpendicular right and these sides are equal and in one of these diagonals we have a perpendicular bisector so the longer one bisects the smaller one perpendicularly so it is a right bisector, correct? The concept here is you need to find slope of the two diagonals and these slopes should be at right angle. That is the first thing. Second, that the point B and D are kind of mirror images on one of the diagonals, right? So that is, that is the concept. Now, in this particular example, as you can see, it is extremely simple, but it gives you an idea. What is the slope of AC? We can write slope of line AC is, since the x values are the same, it is undefined. If you want, you can calculate also, right? So, M of AC is Y2 minus Y1, which is 6 minus minus 3 divided by minus 1 minus minus 1. So that is 1 over 0 or we say undefined as expected. The equation of this line will be so we'll write equation of line AC you can write as x equals to the x value which is minus 1. 
Slope of dB is negative reciprocal of that of AC, right? So we can say slope of the other diagonal dB is zero since it has to be negative reciprocal, right? So a line perpendicular to vertical line is a horizontal line. So that is a horizontal line, correct? equation of line db will be the y value y equals to 4 right now from these two lines we can find their point of intersection and let us say the point of intersection is o so let me write point of intersection which is o as if the lines are x equals to minus 1 and y equals to 4, then the x value will be minus 1 and the y value will be 4 for this point O. Correct? So that is the common point. So that is the point of intersection. Now, we know point O, B and we need to find point D. Correct? Let point D be x and y. Right. Let the point D be x and y. In that case, how can we find point D knowing O and B? Well, since O is the midpoint, the value is minus 1, 4. It is average of the x and y values of D and B. Right? Therefore, we can write x plus 2 divided by 2 and y plus 4 divided by 2 should be the coordinates of the center point O. Is it okay? But we know O is minus 1, 4. So now we can equate x plus 2 divided by 2 as minus 1 y plus 4 divided by 2 is 4 and find coordinate points for x and y right so let's do this part here so we'll now calculate x and y values from the given equation so we have x plus 2 divided by 2 equals to minus 1 cross multiply x plus 2 equals to minus 2 or x is equals to minus 2 minus 2 that gives us x as minus 4. On the other hand, y value will be y plus 4 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Cross multiply y plus 4 equals to 4 times 2 which is 8. y equals to 8 minus 4 and so we get y equals to 4. So the coordinates of point D are that is our answer x value is minus 4, y value is 4. So that is how we can find the fourth coordinate of a kite in the given situation. As you can see, our example was very simple. We took one of the diagonals as vertical, the other one has to be horizontal. Important thing here is that B and D are so that they are same distance away from O. O is the point of intersection between the two diagonals. So once we find O, it is very simple to find D using the midpoint formula. So that helps us to find the fourth coordinate of a kite. Now in the next video, I am going to take a general case where the lines are not vertical or horizontal. But we are going to follow the same steps and that is that was the whole idea, right? So I could have orally got the answer in this particular case. But I hope you have understood the concept. We'll actually work on this concept and then solve a general question. This video can be very helpful for some of you who may get some questions as a multiple choice question in this form. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. 
Thank you and all the best.